So, this is the video that I thought about making for a little while, but didn't really get into making it until um, someone commented on the last video, so I thought I might as well do it now. This will be showing you how to make a wish bottle, or what all my previous videos have been about. Uh, what you're going to need is a bottle of alcohol, whether it's isopropyl or ethanol, I believe. A drill or something to make a hole in the bottle cap doesn't really matter, but a drill is much more precise. A bot, a bottle to drill a hole in, and a barbecue lighter, so you can stay semi far away while still lighting it. Okay, what you want to do first is make the hole in the bottle. Now, the reason the hole matters is because it's gonna produce more force the smaller the hole is, as well as it's gonna create more pressure and and the contents in the bottle, under more pressure, will burn more profusely, more than it already is. So, I'm going to do that. Not on the table, of course, because you don't want to mess anything up. The drill bit can, like, go right through the bottle cap. I know that very well because once before I was holding the bottle cap and the drill went into it and into my hand. So, I'll be back with that in a second. Now, after drilling the hole, I advise you center as best as you can. I was not too good at that, but it doesn't matter too much. But you know, it's better. I'm today. I'm not going to be launching any rocket because, well, it's somewhat dangerous. So it's going to be uh, probably held by some bricks that I have over there on my fire pit, and it won't be going anywhere. It'll be stationary, where it is safe and will cause no harm unless it blows up. I'm not really sure what's the drill bit I use for this. I just eyeballed it and got it. So hopefully that is good. Once you drill a hole in the cap, the drill will no longer be needed or whatever you use to put a hole in the cap. So that doesn't need to be there. Now that we have that gone, what you can do is put the cap on as so. I'm gonna screw it on in a second, but well, before so, put the alcohol in there. I'll show you that in a second. Something I should also mention is that this is a bigger hole than I would use on like a 2 liter because on a 2 liter I'm trying to get the most thrust that I can. As you, if you check out some of my other videos, I have gotten mock diamonds on them, which is not a sign of supersonic velocity um, in the flow, but as a atmospheric anon anomaly. On another note, you should wash out the bottle you're using and make sure there's not much water in it afterwards so you do not water down the alcohol because that will affect the performance of it. Now the um, amount of alcohol you put in the bottle doesn't matter too much but you don't want to put too much that there's an, not enough oxygen in there. If you know what stoichiometry I believe it's called, um, certain fuel mixes have a point of where they are just not good enough you know if you add more air and more air eventually more air is just gonna slow down the reaction instead of helping it out once you do this you can put the cap on you want to make sure it's on there tight so that it does not come off once you have put the alcohol or whatever fuel you're using in this case you shake it up to mix it with the air inside uh, so, once you are done shaking it up, you want to um, wash your hands because any alcohol that gets in your hands could ignite and burn you. That is not a fun time. Now that I have it in my test bench, it, bench, it is ready to be ignited. Now you're going to see it in real time speed instead of the slow-mo videos I usually have. Hopefully this will give you an idea of how fast these reactions are. Sometimes these things can be hard to, li to light. What you might want to do, if it doesn't light, shake it up and try it again. Because maybe the alcohol vapors have, you know, settled or left the bottle. 
you don't want that because that's what you're igniting with the air. After giving it another good shaking, might want to go ahead and try it again. Barbecue lighters can't be a pain in the ass. And wind is also not on your side. So fun. And even if that doesn't work, another thing you can try. Shaking it up again. And pouring some out so you get some on your cap. The cap, and it'll like lead a trail. Just trying that. Now that wasn't a very explosive reaction, so I think we're gonna try that again. And if you do this yourself, you can feel how hot it gets in here. And you could might have been able to see the um, the effect it had on the plastic in the bottle. Now I'm gonna shake it more and blow some air into it to reoxygenate it. And hopefully this will lead to a more explosive reaction. It's not necessarily too safe, but it is fun. You might have been able to hear on the inside that there was a sort of uh, pulse jet reaction it had, which is not something you usually want when making a bottle rocket, but it can also be fun. Thank you for um, watching if you gotten this far. It did take a little while to ignite this thing. Uh, yeah. You can see, if you look closely, there's smoke in the bottle. Could be alcohol vapors, but it's probably just... Well, thank you for watching. If you like this, you might want to try it out for yourself. It can be very dangerous, though, so be careful and have a great day.